The Family 2 is a straight four-piston engine that was originally developed by Opel in the 1970s, debuting in 1979. Available in a wide range of cubic capacities ranging from 1598 to 2405 cc, it simultaneously replaced the Opel OHV, Opel CIH and Vauxhall slant four engines, and was GM Europe's core powerplant design for much of the 1980s. The engine features a cast iron block, an aluminium head, and a timing belt-driven valve train. The timing belt also drives the water pump. It was first used in the Opel Cadet D, Ascona B, Casa, and their corresponding Vauxhall sister models, the Astra, Cavalier, and Nova. Many General Motors subsidiaries, including Daewoo, GM do Brazil, GM Powertrain, and Holden have used this design. By 1986, the Family 2 unit had completely supplanted the CIH engine as Opel's core four-cylinder powerplant, although the six-cylinder versions of the CIH continued in the larger Omega and Senator models until 1995. In 2004, a 2.0L multipower engine was made available for the taxi market which could use gasoline, alcohol, and natural gas. The Family 2 also spawned two diesel variants, the 1.6L and 1.7L. These engines are sometimes referred to as big block engines by enthusiasts, in contrast to the smaller Family 1 engines, which are sometimes referred to as the small block engines. The development track of these engines split in 1987, with the introduction of the 20XE, which featured a 16 valve DOHC head. Although SOHC versions are still in production in Brazil, most DOHC engines were replaced by the all-aluminium GM Ecotec engine family. Holden made various Family 2 engines for Opel, GM Daewoo, GM India, GM Uzbekistan and Isuzu Thailand at its Port Melbourne plant. Variations include displacements from 1.8L to 2.4L. Topic SOHC. These engines formed the basis of the modern Family 2 lineup. Configuration was limited to a single overhead cam and two valves per cylinder in a cross-flow layout, eight valves total. The 20NE served as the base, where later Family 2 engines evolved. Topic. 1.6 The 1.6 liter iteration, 1598 cc or 97.5 cu in, has a 80.0 mm 3.15 in bore and a 79.5 mm 3.13 in stroke. Opel began production of the 1.6L in 1980. A diesel fueled version was also available. The diesel produced 54 horsepower, 40 kilowatts at 4600 revolutions per minute and 70.8 pounds feet, 96.0 Nm of torque at 2400 revolutions per minute. It also had a 23 to 1 compression ratio and a Bosch injection pump. Topic 1.7 The 1.7 liter iteration, 1,679 cc or 102.5 cu in, has a 82.0 mm 3.23 in bore and a 79.5 mm 3.13 in stroke. The 1.7 L version uses diesel fuel. Topic 1.8. The 1.8 liter iteration, 1,796 cc or 109.6 cu in, has a 84.8 mm 3.34 in bore and a 79.5 mm 3.13 in stroke. It was first available in the facelifted Opel Manta B in May 1982, and quickly made its way into a number of other Opel and GM cars. 
It was originally available as the 18N and the 18S, for low and high octane petrol respectively. The C18NV was first installed in the Opel Record E2 from May 1985 and was one of the first catalyzed mass market automobiles sold in Germany and Europe. In 1983, the 1.8L engine was added to certain North American market J cars. The engines were imported from Brazil. The LA5 RPO code is a turbocharged version that was optional in the North American market from 1984. Topic 2.0 The single overhead camshaft 1998 cc 121.9 cu in inline four cylinder engines feature a square 86 mm 3.4 in bore and stroke. They also feature fuel injection, an aluminum crossflow cylinder head with a belt driven overhead camshaft, electronic ignition, a 6 bolt flywheel and a 6400 revolutions per minute redline. Originally, developed by Opel, these engines have been used in Brazilian market vehicles, Korean market vehicles and North American market vehicles, with the first versions appearing in 1981. The North American versions were used primarily in the J-body compact cars from 1983 through 1994 although the turbocharged version did make a brief appearance in the N-body Pontiac Grand Am. The SOHC version also appeared in the Opel Cadet E-based, Daewoo-produced, Pontiac Lemons for the U.S. market. In the Brazilian market these engines are still built under the Flexpower name. Differences between the engines are usually emissions-related. However, the 20SEH version was more powerful version produced for Opel's sportier models, it featured a more aggressive camshaft, and high compression pistons. The LT3 RPO code or C20GET is a turbocharged version produced in Brazil for the North American market. It featured brilliant red powder coating on the camshaft cover, intake manifold and boost pipe. The engine was equipped with a water-cooled Garrett T25 turbocharger, however it did not utilize an intercooler. Maximum boost at watt was 9 psi 62 kilopascals. Topic 2.2. The 2.2L or 2198cc 134.1 cu in version has an 86 mm 3.38 in bore and a 94.6 mm 3.7 in stroke. It is codenamed C22NE and 22LE. It was mainly used in the Brazilian market, in the Opel Omega A Chevrolet Omega in Brazil with 116 horsepower and the Opel Vectra B Chevrolet Vectra in Brazil with 123 horsepower. This engine replaced the 2.08 VC20NE 116 horsepower version that was considered weak when fitted to cars like Omega and Vectra by the Brazilian market. Applications Isuzu Faster FS Lublin, modified C22 NED engine 2.4 The 2405cc version has a 87.5 mm in bore and a 100 mm in stroke. C24 SE 2.4 LSOHC, Isuzu Rodeo C24 SE built by Holden X24 XF — 2. 4 LMPF ISOHC 8 V Flexpower 2.5 The naturally aspirated 16 valve version of the 2.0L 1998 cc 121.9 cu in cast iron block engine is the successor to the OHC engines and a predecessor to the 16 valve Ecotec line of engines. 
the 20XE or C20XE with catalyst evolved into the X20XEV 1994 with 136 horsepower 101 kilowatts and taking on the GM Ecotech name and finally it evolved into the X20XER 1999 Topic Coscast This lineup features the same block as the OHC based engines with an 86 mm bore and stroke and a Coscast developed timing belt driven double overhead camshaft, DOHC, Y16 valve cylinder head, Coscast Project KB. The cylinder heads were manufactured by either Coscast or, at a later date, Kolbenschmidt. In general, the heads from this lineup are supposed to flow appreciable U better than their Lotus successors. The 20XE came into production in 1987. The engine was designed by Dr. Fritz Indra, who was head of advanced engine development for Opel in Germany from 1985 to 1989. The engine was originally intended for race application, hence Cosworth's involvement. Commonly refer to this engine as the red top or just Z because of the appearance of the red L shaped spark plug cover. Black colors were available too, the rocker cover was available in silver only. At the time of its launch, this engine was something of a milestone unit in Europe and was widely used in motorsport in many specialist race versions. The engine had a low optimum specific fuel consumption of 232 grams per kilowatt hour which is equivalent to a maximum efficiency of 37%, a better efficiency than some of the diesel engines that were available at the time of its release. The valves are set at 46 degrees and are accompanied by pistons with shallow valve pockets, thereby eliminating the need for a shorter connecting rod hence, allowing a suitable compression ratio to be achieved. Long spark plugs are used and positioned concentric to the cylinder. Power output was rated at 157 bhp. The later engine were suffixed C20XELN to indicate low noise revisions, smaller cylinder head port, cast pistons, and different crank bearing size. In line with EU regulations in 1988, the C20XE was introduced, and was fitted with a catalyst and oxygen sensor in the exhaust. This was due to new emission standards, which forced manufacturers to equip their cars with a catalytic converter and a lambda or oxygen sensor. This requirement permitted the fitment of the Bosch Motronic 2.5 engine management system. Engine power output dropped to 150 bhp. Vauxhall complied with the new emission controls in 1988, although the legislation wasn't law until 1991. Vehicles fitted with the C20XE engine produced before 1991 can have their catalytic converter legally removed, and the vehicle will still comply with MO regulations. The C20LET engine was introduced in 1992, and was fitted to the Opel, Vauxhall Vectra Turbo, Cavalier Turbo, Calibra Turbo, and the South African-made Opel Astra 200 TS. It is similar to the C20XE, apart from the primary addition of a KKK16 turbocharger, forged Mahel pistons, Bosch Motronic M2.7 electronic engine control unit, and black plastic plenum, top hat, shroud with a Turbo script. It produces a DIN rated output of 150 kilowatts, 201 horsepower, and generates 280 newton meters, 207 pound feet of torque. Boost pressure is 0.6 bars, 8.7 psi, continuous with a 0.8 bars, 12 psi overboost. Some versions of the engine implemented switchable traction control, commonly included in the early Astra GSI models. The inlet had a secondary throttle valve sandwiched underneath the primary throttle body. This is closed by a motor, arm assembly when the traction control AQ senses loss of grip, spin at the wheels. The engine was also equipped with a different throttle position sensor, six pin, as opposed to three, and a different coolant temperature sensor, which was black, as opposed to the normal light blue color. The engines that appeared in the early 90s also swapped the cast metal spark plug cover for a cheaper and less regarded plastic version. 
those used round tooth camvelts while the later used square with a plastic pre-tensioner. There are also subtle differences between the crankshaft, and visible difference in the pattern of the SFI airbox. In its last version before production ended, the C20XE came with a new engine management system which included a distributorless ignition system, namely Bosch Motronic 2.8. The last version was called C20LN low noise and has a stronger engine block. Topic: <inaudible> Porosity issues. In 1991, the Coscast cylinder head was replaced with the GM cylinder head which was manufactured by Colvin Schmidt. One of the most prominently recognized qualities of the Coscast head is its inherent lack of porosity. This was achieved by pumping the liquid metal into the mold rather than pouring it, hence, minimizing the presence of tiny air bubbles that usually form during the standard casting process. The Coscast head can be identified by a Coscast logo which is stamped under the third exhaust port and a ridge on the head under the distributor. The GM head was and featured a slightly different oil, water gallery design. These design changes required that a pair of Welch plugs be pressed in at either end of the head. In situations where a complete C20XE is still fitted to a vehicle, the presence of Welch plugs or lack of, has proven to be the sole means of differentiating between GM and Coscast heads. A reinforced version of the GM head became available in the later years of the C20XE, however, these reinforcements meant that it had smaller inlet, exhaust channels than the other two, since an engine's oil circulates at much higher pressures than its coolant, oil in a porous head has a tendency to gradually seep into the coolant galleries. A typical symptom of a porous head is usually a mayonnaise like substance forming somewhere inside the cooling system. Usually, this can be found residing on the coolant reservoir cap. However, depending on the degree of porosity, symptoms of a porous head have a tendency to vary. Many C20XE operators have described the symptom as a curry like residue or, in more severe cases, a thick brown sludge which may overcome the entire cooling system. In such instances, engine oil will readily react with the sulfur in rubber components, hence, quickly degrading coolant pipes and hoses to the point of failure. During the porous head debacle, GM faced bankruptcy, therefore, dealers failed to recall affected models. Due in part, to the engine's immense prominence and demand, many businesses now specialize in the repair of porous GM C20XE, lead heads, by either sleeving the affected gallery or by injecting a polymer-based substance into the porous region. Reportedly, a small number of total GM C20XE cylinder heads ever exhibited significant symptoms of porosity. Topic. Motorsport The C20XE has seen extensive use in motorsport. Typical uses for the engine have ranged from hillclimb events, to open-wheel racing categories. Despite its age, it remains the powerplant of choice for many Formula 3 teams and has most recently found acclaim in the Australian F3 scene where Tim Macro, the 2007 Australian F3 champion, drove an Opel Spies powered car to claim victory. Tuned by Spies, an F3 grade C20XE is easily capable of producing 250 bhp kilowatts in its naturally aspirated form. Many aftermarket tuners have further developed the C20XE for racing purposes. The C20XE was used by the Chevrolet WTCC World Touring Car Championship team and the Lada WTCC team. The engine was also an option in Westfield kit cars. The engine is a favorite for both NA and turbo motoring enthusiasts for its robust design, materials and construction. Topic: Ecotec branded models in association with Lotus. Topic: 1.8.
The X18XE was branded as Ecotec. All these engines feature a 81.6 mm bore and a 86.0 mm stroke. Topic 2.0. The X20XEV is the first Family 2 engine branded as Ecotec, a mass market successor to the C20XE with a Lotus-developed cylinder head. The new cylinder head had a smaller valve angle compared to the older C20XE to give more torque in the lower revs. It is a 1998 cc, 121.9 cu in naturally aspirated engine with 16 valves and belt driven double overhead camshafts, DOHC, 86 mm, 3.4 in bore and stroke in cast iron OHC derived cylinder block and aluminium cylinder head. The X20XEV was equipped with exhaust gas recirculation EGR, to reduce nitrogen dioxide emissions and air injection reactor air, to speed up the warming up of the catalytic converter and to reduce unburnt hydrocarbons and carbon monoxide. The engine is capable of producing 100 kW 136 PS, 134 bhp. A higher output version called the X20XER produced 118 kilowatts, 158 horsepower at 6500 revolutions per minute and 188 Nm, 139 pound feet at 4300 revolutions per minute. The Z20LET is a turbocharged version of the X20XEV for the Opel Astra G and features an 8.8, 1 compression, 200 PS, 197 horsepower, 147 kilowatts, and 195 pound-feet, 264 Nm of torque. From 2005, the Z20LET engine was revised for the Astra H and Zafira B, to three different model designations, Z20LEL, Z20LER and Z20LEH. The differing designations denote the engine power output, 170 hp, 127 kW, 200 hp, 149 kW, and 240 hp, 179 kW. Further revisions to the original design include under piston oil cooling, a revised turbocharger unit and the deletion of the contra-rotating balancer shafts in the 240 hp 179 kW Z20LEH engine, as used in the Astra VXR, to reduce mechanical losses. The Z20LEH also features high-quality Mayhill forged pistons, which are much stronger than the cast pistons fitted to the Z20LET, Z20LEL and Z20LER. The 2.0-liter X20SED DTEC 16-valve DOHC MPFI was built by Holden and used in the Daewoo Nibira. The L34 also known as the U20SED is a 2.0L 1998cc 121.9 cu in engine that was built until 2009 by Holden in Australia dubbed DTEC by GMDAT the new Daewoo after the buyout from GM or ETEC2 by Chevrolet GM it has an 86.0 mm 3.39 in bore and stroke Power is rated at 119 horsepower, 89 kilowatts in South America and Europe, 126 horsepower in Canada, and 132 horsepower in the United States. All are at 5,400 revolutions per minute, and torque is rated at 126 pound-feet, 171 Nm. The engine has been used on the Daewoo Lissetti and its various rebadged models, such as the Chevrolet Optra, Suzuki Reno, and Suzuki Forenza. This engine was discontinued in 2010 and new generation open deck engines replaced starts with a prefix of the letter A e.g. A20NHT A20NHH A20NFT. Topic. 
The 2.2L engine was a derivative of the GM Family 2 engine introduced in 1995, built by Holden in Australia that saw usage first in Australian and European versions of Isuzu-derived trucks and SUVs, and was later used in the Isuzu Rodeo and Daewoo Leganza. The X22XE was also used in the Opel, Vauxhall Sintra the 2.2 liter shares lots of details together all listed below. Bore 86.0 mm. Stroke 94.6 mm. Volume 2198 cc x 22 xe Power 100 kilowatts, 130 horsepower at 5,200 revolutions per minute. 104 kilowatts, 139 horsepower at 5,400 revolutions per minute. Sintra. Torque 202 Nm, 149 pound-feet at 2,600 revolutions per minute. Compression ratio 10.5:1. Engine management, Bosch Motronic M1.5.4 Octane requirement, 91, 95 98, with knock control Control, timing belt Exhaust system, AGR, regulated catalytic Properties, balance shaft C22Z, used on Omega, 1999 to 2003 Power: 106 kilowatts, 142 horsepower at 5,400 revolutions per minute. Torque: 205 Nm, 151 pound-feet at 4,000 revolutions per minute. Compression ratio: 10.5:1. Engine management: Siemens Simtek 71. Octane requirement: 91, 95, 98, with knock control. Control, timing belt Exhaust system, AGR, regulated catalytic Properties, balance shafts, electronic throttle, cruise controls 22Z, used on Omega, 1999–2003 Specifications as Y22Z, but at the power, 106 kW at 5,800 revolutions per minute. Further applications Isuzu Faster Isuzu Mu, Isuzu Amigo 1995-2004 Opel, Vauxhall Frontera 1998-2004 Honda Passport 1998-2002 Opel Omega Opel Blazer Indonesian market Topic 2.4 X24 SFD 2.4L 2405cc SFI DOHC 16 volts Chevrolet Astra Chevrolet Vectra 150 horsepower at 5200 revolutions per minute 228 newton meters at 4000 rpm Z24 XE 2.4L 2405cc DOHC Chevrolet Captiva Opel Antara 2006 to 2010 This engine was built by Holden until 2009 The 2006 Chevrolet Vectra also received a 2.4L 16 volts flex power engine 100 to 103 kilowatts 134 to 138 horsepower at 5200 revolutions per minute 220 nm 160 pound feet at 2200 revolutions per minute topic see also family 1 engine List of GM engines